Okay, this is a very rainy, very rainy Sunday, which I think is just delightful for painting. So I'm going to paint one of my students and friends, Claire Bourne, uh, during her performance that I got to watch. Uh, she's a singer, performer, and if you haven't realized it, I'm really into artists and musicians. I'm into them for their amazing artistry. Today also I'm celebrating a special event for me, a one year of something, I prefer not to say what, but I'm going to be going out and see that amazing Van Gogh mu uh, movie and then have an experience at the Moroccan restaurant with five course meal and belly dancers and dining on the, sitting on the floor, I believe, I'm not sure, I've never been there before. So it's a perfect day, a perfect moment for me to paint this right before going out and because this painting for me is so incredibly delicious, I just I, I love, I love what it provides for me, really, um, it's, it's, it's meditation and it's connection with source and it's really pure delight and enjoyment, even through frustration, <laughs> if, if the painting does not turn out, it's still very rewarding to me. So instead of getting ready, I, I rather just spend a bit of time painting and then I'll rush into that. I was thinking earlier of this notion of beauty we have. It's very skewed by, you know, the media. To me, I find beauty in the really mundane and not glitzy stuff, not glamour, not glamorous. This to me is beautiful. Just a moment in time. Watching someone performing, it's like so powerful. You almost get from their energy. You, you get something from that for yourself. Well, that's, at least that's how it lives for me. I get energized by their performance whenever I watch an artist singing and I really love painting singers, performers, musicians. The whole purpose for me doing this painting right now is just pure enjoyment. I do not 
care really if it turns out or not. And I, I've noticed that's a very difficult notion for the students that I teach in my classes. They are so geared towards the product rather than the process, the, you know, the destination rather than the journey. But with painting, and I, I think it might be like this with other forms of art as well, it's so much in the play that you discover you cannot not play. That, that's how you feed your creative process. That's how you really become better at your craft. By really allowing yourself to play and not caring so much about how is, going, how is that going to turn out now. that's secondary and if it turns out great it's just awesome and if it doesn't it's still you played I played and that's I, I achieved my goal I succeeded the goal is to play and through that play to discover more so I think I'm done with this catch I have this wonderful cup that Jennifer <laughs> gave to me. I'm using for my water. So let's play. Let's play and see what happens. Another thing that I was thinking of earlier today, I one of my videos popped up in Facebook memories of me in my studio filming just my studio and I just remember that day, it was also a rainy day and I just had this clear insight on how we evolve sometimes we are not present to our own evolution you know it, it goes through stages just like a painting you know a painting goes through a lot of stages until it turns out to that final let's say it's a really good painting until it reaches that point it goes through a lot of stages and so do we in life if, if we would give up and say hey this stage doesn't look too great we miss out on the final Or, or, or the amazing outcome of, of all that process of evolving and growing. So it's okay if the painting goes through stages where you don't like, don't give up on it. 
to make that don't don't shift your energy and your thoughts and your approach to it with frustration it's just a natural stage it's just a natural way of progressing just like with everything and you learn from every stage of the painting you learn if you if you allow yourself to that is because many times we get caught up in our own heads too much and we're just not really present to our evolving. And it's there, it's there, you just don't, we're not present to it, that's it. most common comment that I get in my classes through the years that I value a lot is that when, when a student notices and realizes that I see things in certain way he says you see the other you see things you see something in my painting that I did not see you know and and, and that's it I'm just it's not that I have some special powers to see things I'm just really being present to the possibility what, what can be done from here on what's the next stage and and having that space where you I'm not living so much in your head about how the painting looks right now about how your life is right now. It's everything, everything relates to life, to a regular life, really. I've noticed that for myself. If I'm not in my head about it, you know, analyzing, thinking, criticizing, this being desperate, really, <laughs> then there's some spaciousness where like a solution can come in. And you can see what's the next thing to do in your painting. But if the noise of your mind, of your comments, of your critic, of your the way you see yourself in the painting is too loud, you don't have enough space to for the solution to occur. It just it's still there, it's present, available to you at any moment. You just cannot hear it from the noise of your own mind. Too wet here. So she has this microphone right in front of her face. I love to work with the whole painting at once and not leave like finish one area and then you know the next and the next and the next because everything that happens here it relates to each other so if I would be to finish one area first and then I, I come up and finish another area the relationship between those two areas would change and I just wasted time working on one when now it looks different because of what's in its vicinity. So I love working with the whole painting at once and keep developing like that.
then with watercolor um it dries the watercolor dries so much lighter so if you would be to finish some area it would change how it looks like when as when you work and it's still wet so you cannot really tell that's why it's so helpful to work with the whole painting at once you cannot really count on this looking the way it looks now because when it dries it will look different about 50 percent lighter it's really up to the kind of pigments you use Something dark, whatever. Doesn't matter to me what colors I use. This is more detail from the microphone. Something, something here. Some lights reflecting. I really enjoy painting people. Maybe one of my favorite subjects for now because it changes constantly. Using just one brush. I think it's is of vital importance to take time for our creative selves. And just do something for the pure pleasure of it, with no strings attached, no goal in mind either than, other than the play itself. 
and I don't know why is it so hard to do that be really indoctrinated with this product 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 versus anything product is the most important thing we gear towards that we, we forgot how to just be and enjoy and I want to breakfast this morning with my daughters and we were, you know, I purposely left my phone home and I could just watch myself of how I'm looking for it or, you know, we just, we forgot to just be and enjoy being. I was watching the people coming in and out of the place and, you know, I really started enjoying seeing that. being present to what's going on around. That's the same with paint, with the painting right now. Instead of being three phases ahead in my head, what's next? What should I do next? What should I? No, just just being present right now with what's going on right now in this painting. You know, care for how it's going to turn out. It's a practice. It's a it's a mindfulness practice really and this is what my project is all about the nine months of daily paintings I it's it's not about making demos I you know I teach a lot of classes and there's plenty of opportunities for anyone to sign up for one and, and watch me perform a demo which is done a demonstration is done with the product in mind you know But this, this is just very selfish. This is just for myself and my, to feed my creative process. Because I know this is so important, so I won't get bored in my work. And then, because I'm so selfishly doing this for myself, I'm being very selfish with this time that I take for myself right now to do these kind of paintings. Then I generously share it with you with, by, by doing it live. See balance in everything. I know I am going to gain so much from, from practicing this on a daily basis, from this process of allowing myself to just play for the pure joy of it and being vulnerable to put this out there live, you know, there's no editing in these videos, there's, you know, some paintings may not turn out and that's okay because I don't want to live my life always caring about perfection and you know what others say and what I think others say and and just to encourage everyone and my students and whoever watches it that you know it's okay to just play and not be so self-critical and always want to be performant and that's a place for that too in life but don't overwhelm yourself with that it's important to just be and play and this will feed the rest of the work that you do whenever you take time for your creative self it will provide a lot using the word vulnerable in a really positive way you know vulnerable people that don't crave 
perfection all the time are very relatable to other people you know but if you notice all personalities and people you admire in your life they are being vulnerable that's why you relate to them so wonderfully No, that say you're a seeker of your secrets. <laughs> this whole side of the face is just drenched in dark. was one of my favorite artists he's a Croatian artist that now lives in um, Australia I think in Melbourne he's absolutely phenomenal his name is Joseph Spukvic and um, I purchased one of his DVDs and I was watching him work and he said something that really helped me a lot with my work he said that people relate to me like I'm this master but I still don't know I still don't know if this painting is going to turn out I know I have no idea sometimes it doesn't and when he said that he, this person which I consider to be a genius a watercolor master and you know if the fact that he said he still doesn't know whatever his level like he is you know like this this very high pedestal the fact that he said I still don't know if my painting will turn out just gave me a gigantic break you know if he doesn't know then I can relax you know maybe I don't need to know maybe I don't need to know that just you know allowed me to be able to be more playful Just a bit more attention here. It's dry enough. Again, this is Claire Bird, one of my friends and students. Uh, she, she paints a lot, but uh, she's, she's a performer, she's a singer. And I went and I watched her perform here in Atlanta area a few weeks ago. I enjoyed it so much. And uh, she was performing this piece um, from the clowns and she literally just took off took out her lipstick and made two giant red circles on her face. And that's what's going on now. She put her whole soul and, and body into this performance. Not just this, but like her whole act. It was really delightful to watch that she's also very funny All right I need more volume on that but I think I'm gonna have to 
come up with something dark here to bring all that light into the face. This is the microphone and her hands. Not the most easy position. They come forward. I'm not even going to spend too much time detailing that because I think it's it's just like the movement, her hands are moving. By the way, I want to see if I can show you the reference photo I'm working from. I have it right here on my computer. It's a photo that I took. phone while I was there watching her. Oh, I just love rainy days and jazz music. She has her um, hair wrapped in this cloth, like headpiece. I don't know how you call those. Now English is my second language. I moved to the United States about 10 years ago. I'm born and raised in Eastern Europe, in Romania. A magnificent country which I love and adore. But I think me coming here really was necessary for my own self-growth. So, I love being here. I love to hear the rain on my skylight. Before I moved in a place that had a skylight I had no idea it can sound so beautiful I remember hearing it for the first time like, what is it what's that noise it was the rain on the skylight mm. I can get a bit of light in the clip the bottom I don't know if I, I said I'm gonna come with something dark here, but I don't know if I have the time. I do have to go enjoy my wonderful celebration today. And by the way, I know it's Vanessa's birthday. If you're watching or listening to this, happy birthday, Vanessa. It's one of my students that she's been in contact with me. And I love reading her comments on my posts and having her in my class. And my battery is low, which is perfect because I think I'm going to approach the abandonment of this. Picasso said, a piece of art is never finished, it's only abandoned. <laughs> how, how true, because you could always work on it forever, really. Maybe 
will come back and see if I see anything else that's needed. I'm thoroughly satisfied with the way I played. <laughs> I took this painting break before going out. I feel so good right now. I feel really great. Just for playing. Just for enjoying this side of me. So I encourage you to do that too. Take time for your creative self, however that looks like. And just play Einstein said play is the highest form of research I can't seem to stop could play like this for longer. I do have to go get dressed though. I'm gonna go see the Van Gogh movie that apparently hundreds of artists were hired to create, to paint. A scene like you know it's just gonna be an animation like being inside of Van Gogh's paintings there were hundreds and thousands of paintings being done for that movie and can't wait to see it I don't want to read too much about it because I like to be surprised but that's what I'm going to do this evening I hope you enjoyed and thanks so much for watching. Have a great Sunday. Bye everyone. I'm going to reply to all the comments you posted later. I promise. Have a great Sunday.